Today I want to show you my Lenovo ThinkPad X230 with its semi-flicker, semi, semi yeah, it's flickers on camera, but to my eye it's rock solid, and, and, I, and I'm going to show you, like, it's still, it's still pretty good after, after, after 10 years, it has... And let, first, let's go around the outside. It does have the... Oh, shut up, Windows. It does have the chiclet keyboard, which... Which is, like, the first X-Series ThinkPad to, um, to have the chiclet-style keyboard, which not too many people like when people swap these out for X220 keyboards, which... Um, yeah, this was also the... Um, um, and, and this was available. This was available in, I, in either in configurations with like no uh, no backlit keyboard, a backlit keyboard, no fingerprint scanner, fingerprint scanner, and an IPS screen. And but if mine's the cheapest one, it doesn't have the fingerprint scanner, which I will change that. I'm I will get a new palm rest with a fingerprint scanner because there are connections on the inside. I'm, I might also change the chiclet keyboard. It's it's decent enough. I might also change the chiclet keyboard in the future for an, a next 220 style one. And and let's let's go over the other things. It has the like the track point like eraser head mouse, which is replaceable. And it's the the you can get different ones. This is the cat's tongue style one, which um, I I personally like the the feel of it, but not many other people. But people don't like. I just it's it's really good to just like rub it. And and anyways, let's um go on the side. We have a cooling vent, a pretty big cooling vent. There are two of them. Big heat sink, big heat pipe, and USB three USB 3.0 port because yes this was the first X series ThinkPad to have a USB 3.0 port the VGA port that has screws on the side which is not something used to come with you know laptops Mi a mini display port to connect it to an, an, an external display or external graphics card a an USB 3.0 port a switch to turn on and off wireless and an express card slot and this does have the this does not have a backlit keyboard but it does have the think light style like el like little led light in the top there to just create like a little splash of light on your keyboard which i actually prefer that to a backlit keyboard because i can it's just it's just more natural like and I can also see the rest of the com the computer. And on the back here we have a DC 20 volt barrel plug input, another cooling vent, a Kensington lock slot, a headphone jack, features not seen on modern phones today, 10 1000 ethernet, a regular USB 2.0 port, which I think it, why is it yellow? I think that's because like it it's, it's designed for like charging things, so it like outputs more power or something. And an S and an SDHC like card slot. And on the on the back here, and it and it's a, an, a, an Intel Core i5 clocked at two gigahertz, I think, and with a 500 500 gigabyte hard drive and eight gigs of RAM. If we pop this off, like while it's still on, keep in mind we can see LP to two LP to four gigabyte RAM sticks. I've never heard of them before. I might I might put in eight gig RAM sticks in each because this can take a maximum of oh it's dusty. Ugh. It can take a maximum of sixteen gigs of RAM, which isn't too bad. So. I might, I might do, I might do that in the future. When I, when, when this laptop was shipped to me, it came with Windows 10, 
which I am not a fan. I am not a fan of Windows 10, so I installed Windows 7 Ultimate, and the there's it came originally came with Windows 7 Pro, and the product key is behind the battery door. But I don't want you any of you copying my product key, so I'm gonna leave it there. It unfortunately does not have the light like thing like the little eye that only came in with the X240. There's the old Lenovo logo. And anyways, so thanks for and thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.